Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new here. My name is Steffi and in today's video we are going to be doing a decluttering my makeup collection. I have the Alex 9 drawers sat here. I've got my skincare up here in like a spinny thing. I won't be doing my skincare because I did do it the other day and uh, yeah, the, it, it's. I have a very basic routine which I will be doing a skincare routine in the upcoming um, weeks and everything so I really should kind of <laughs> sort out my tripod but I feel like I've got it perfect for the drawers. Um, this section is all to do with like my beauty therapy bits and stuff so I won't be going through that either um, but it might be a little bit of a mess in the side so I do apologise but with my Alex 9 drawers I do have about three drawers at the bottom full of my special effects makeup which again, I won't be going through bits and pieces like that because if you don't know, I'm a certified makeup artist, hence why I have <laughs> drawers full. <laughs> um, but I really do want to kind of just really declutter my makeup collection because in the future I will be moving out and stuff like that, hopefully in the next coming year, next two years or something like that. So I know I'm kind of prepping in the long run, but you never know. <laughs> really make my life a bit more minimalistic because I have so much stuff. And it's just not necessary if I'm honest. So without much further ado, we are going to be going through my makeup collection and I will probably be gifting majority of it to friends and family anyway. And then further on from that, if there is anything suitable, I will look into women's shelters and things like that as well. But I'm not sure with the way that is going to work this year um, and obviously last year because of COVID. So I will have to look into that. So yeah, that is that. But without much further ado, well, let's get on to today's video. Okay, so in my first drawer, I have quite a lot going on. I have loads of fake eyelashes, I have samples, and I have a majority of my setting sprays as well. So it is kind of here, there, everywhere. I'll be honest, I don't really wear eyelashes as much anymore, but I do still keep them. Oh my God. I feel like we've all been there, right? <laughs> um, I do still keep them purely for if I need to do any makeup looks and stuff like that really. And I feel like, I feel like they're brand new. I don't think I've tried them on, same as those ones as well. Um, so in regards to that, I will just be keeping all of them because they are handy for makeup looks as well. And I do actually have obviously my little lash glue. I have a set from, oh my God, I forget the name. Um, I cannot remember the name of this brand, but they did send me um, this kind of magnetic eyelashes to try out and stuff, which is good. And I also, I've been gifted previously from Lola's Lashes, um, the Sapphire Lash Kit, the magne magnetic set. So I do really like them. So I'm gonna keep those as well. And then I have some samples. These are always handy to have, of course, whether I gift them on to people or just wanna use them. This is the newest NARS foundation. It's been out for a, a while and I got it with a previous order. I just haven't had the chance to try it. So again, very handy. I have a Charlotte Tilbury Light Wonder, which again, I've used before. I also have the Glossier um, Future Do sample as well. This I wanna try when my skin is a lot more clearer. <laughs> so we're kind of just holding fire on that one. And then I have a Charlotte Tilbury Collagen Lip Bath. Um, this is like a lip plumping effect lip balm. Very, very nice. Um, the best kind of one, this one. And I've actually got a set for Christmas. They're little mini sets, I love that. <laughs> I know I've got that coming. Um, a tart one, the um, Marujica, I can't pronounce that oil, but yeah, not, not really for me that one. So they're, they're just really nice and fun just to pop in. Um, like Christmas or birthday bags and stuff like that really. Um, another product from Charlotte Tilbury, Supermodel Body. This is kind of like a shimmer thing for your body, hence the name, very nice, highly recommend that. Isla Paradise Self Tanning Drops, again, super handy. Um, Wishful Yo Glow Enzyme Scrub, I'm not gonna be using this at all, so I'm definitely gonna pop that in the box next to me, same as the Tarte ones actually. Let's just see that. I can't believe I haven't been sat there doing that really. So that's those. And then there is like a Rainforest of the Sea like foundation situation. So I'll just pop that in a box as well. I do have a box just this way, which I'll show you at the end. And then going on to my ugh, setting spray. So I have my Morphe, Morphe one, which I got for Christmas last year. I do really like this. So this will be staying alongside my iconic London Pep set, Prep Set Glow one. Very pretty, look at that. 
I have a little bit left of my Body Shop makeup setting spray. I've had this for ages, so I will be keeping that one. I have the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless setting spray. Um, this is quite nice. I do like that one as well. I have the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water. Again, really liked the small one, so I purchased it in a big one. I completely forgot I had all of these. I'm not gonna lie. So yeah, I, I just, I have a makeup bag, which is just down there as well. And I forget to put these in. I have got a empty Urban Decay All Nighter Spray because I feel like this is always handy, a handy size for traveling. So I can always refill it. Um, same as this one, this is a really small one. I think I took that to Florida with me actually. And um, then I have the Body Shop Mint Mattifying uh, Face Mist. This is quite nice. I'm not 100% huge fan, so I will be getting rid of that one. And then I have two brand new in the box still. I've got my MAC Fix Plus Matte Spray, which I love. It's just great, so that's going straight back. <laughs> and then I made a Glam Glow order the other month, and this came with it. This is their Glow Setter Makeup Setting Spray. Again, brand new in the box, so um, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna re-gift it because it was a freebie anyway. Very nice. So this is my first drawer. If there is other makeup setting sprays, which I'm sure there is because I had to literally dump everything in um, kind of different drawers earlier when I was going through it. I've been meaning to do this deep, well like declutter for the, like the longest time so um yeah i've been meaning to do it <laughs> so moving on to the second drawer this is all my lipsticks see look there's another setting spray primers this is a mess this really needs sorting out there is another set of those eyelashes as well so again they're gonna go back up let's pop it that side lovely i have eyelash curlers i literally have like the most randomest stuff if i'm honest i did actually have kind of like an acrylic set on my makeup desk but i kind of just made ends with that Ew. and have decided to just kind of get rid of it stick to my drawers stick to my makeup bag with what my most used makeup products are but these are mainly lipsticks primers um, some setting sprays but again setting sprays will be going up in this one so first thing let's pick up this one we have the Maybelline Lasting Fix setting spray really do like this one actually so that is gonna go straight in there I also have this one Smashbox camera ready brush cleaner though this is very good I do like this so that one needs to go to one side same as this product as well this is the makeup brush cleanser from pro hygiene collection very good i had to use these the other day for my makeup kit so i'm just going to pop them onto one side because they'll be going in a whole separate section <laughs> okay and then we have this is just the magnetic eyeliner um situation for those eyelashes so um that can just go in the bin um okay and then really i just there's a lot going on so my eyelash curlers they have pretty much had it so i do need to get rid of those unfortunately um but there is a lot going on so i'm just going to pick up products and we can go from there so this is a loose velvet powder from nars this is in the shade eden i think this shade was my mum's but she wasn't really a fan of it so that can always um go to someone else so i think i am just going to re-gift that one i have a sponge which i think is brand new but it is a powder sponge so again i'm going to re-gift this this is pretty much brand new as well this i believe is just a highlighter and eyeshadow this is quite cool so this is from with the brand Bella Pierre Cosmetics, I think that's how you say it. Um, brand new, again, rehoming. I really don't need a lot of this makeup and especially like what you can see. Primers as well, I feel like I've really gone off. This NARS eyeshadow quad I have had for, um, honestly, I wanna say about five years probably isn't good for me anymore. So I probably should just get rid of it, even not even wanting to rehome it, if I'm honest, it just needs to go in the bin. Right, let's go, because I've got quite a few blushes and everything going on. So let's go with, let's do these ones first. So I have my NARS um, Laguna Bronzer. This is in a kind of smaller size. I do really like this. I will keep this, but I'm going to keep this up top um, just in case I want to go back to powders because I've really been enjoying liquids, which we're going to talk about in a second. Um, and then every time you make a tart order, nine times out of ten, you get one of these little mini... Um, blushes and a mascara as well which is good this is in the shade quirky and this is really really pretty this one very nice i feel like i've not used it yeah i've not used it at all so again i'm gonna re-gift that because i really don't need it <laughs> this is my mac cream blusher in the shade blush uh, yeah blush please i do really like this one as you can see i use it so i am going to be reusing that one this product is from Charlotte Tilbury. I've had it for about two years. This really does need to go. There is some left, but it's really not hygienic, if I'm honest. I always get spots every time I use it, so 
it's um yeah it's definitely overused but this is the glow gasm beauty light wand it's a blusher in the shade peach gasm i absolutely love this it gives a really nice hygiene kind of glow to your skin and um, as well as doing like blush stuff <laughs> really so um i love this i have a brand new one for christmas so i'm very excited <laughs> sticking with liquid blushes this is from she glam from shein this is really really nice this is the shade devoted 103 so i will be keeping this one alongside my glossier cloud paint this is in the shade spark this is quite red though so i am a bit scared to use it but i will keep it in my collection because i do really like these um liquid kind of blushes i just feel like they look so much better my favorite shade so far that i've tried is beam oh my god peach blushes on me are just beautiful if i say so myself okay then i've got some most random things i have like an eyeshadow here this is from beauty bay this is in the shade moonstone and it's called living the best light this is really really nice i do like it i will keep it as well because obviously it's been on my eyes so you can kind of see the situation very nice but again it's eyeshadow so that needs to go in an eyeshadow section i have a mini version of the kat von d go big or go home um volumizing mascara brand new to try so this is always handy to have in a collection if you need a new mascara. I then have this product. This is from Ico, I believe it is, and it's a spotlight highlighter pencil. This I think I got in a recent glossy box. Um, I've not tried it. It does look really nice, but I think I might just re-gift it if I'm honest, because it's not been used. I'm not really gonna use it, to be honest. Let's go on to my lipsticks because they are kind of here, there and everywhere. Um, lipsticks I have kind of tried to decanter all because I don't really wear them, if I'm honest. Um, I do have lip liners as well. So I used to work for Charlotte Tilbury in 2019. So that's why you'll see quite a few Charlotte Tilbury lipsticks, some Charlotte Tilbury products and lip liners because I was able to have some for my own personal kit, of course, because I did have to wear the makeup. So um, I'm just gonna go off with these kind of lipsticks and glosses that I have here. So first I have the Charlotte Tilbury lip gloss in the shade Unleash Me or Unleash, I think. This is really nice, especially for the winter months. Very, very pretty. Her lip glosses, I honestly cannot recommend enough. They're absolutely beautiful, as well as that collagen lip buff. That is kind of more of a lip plumping effect, those ones, but these are absolutely beautiful. You don't get a lip plumping effect with this one, so. I will be keeping this one. The next liquid lipstick I have is from The Body Shop. This is really nice. This is their matte liquid lipstick in the shade Windsor Rose. Very nice, but if I'm honest, I don't go to it. So I will sanitize this and re-gift it. Same as this Tarte one, very, very pretty, but I don't use it. This is in the shade Fortune. Again, I'm not really these kind of colors lips. I'm more of a nude kind of gal or like a dark berry red. There's no in between. <laughs> Again, L'Oreal Ultra Matte Liquid Lipstick, Les Chocolates. This does smell like chocolate, which is amazing. I'm not sure what shade it is. Um, oh, it says it on top. 852 Box of Chocolates. <laughs> Very nice, but again, I just don't wear it. Then I do have a little mini version of the Lime Crime Liquid Lipstick in Red Velvet. I got this in a ASOS advent calendar last year. Very, very pretty. Um, I will kind of use it, but it's not my favourite. But I do have nicer kind of actual red lipsticks rather than a liquid. So again, I'll re hone that one. This NYX Liquid Suede Cream Lipstick, very, very pretty in the shade Cherry Skies. Very nice. I will keep this one purely because I love the way it feels on my lips more than the Lime Crime one. And then last but not least in my lipsticks here, there are going to be kind of some hidden everywhere, so bear that in mind. This is the Colourpop Times Frozen 2. I will never get rid of this collection. <laughs> I love it so much. I'll use it till it's gone. This is the Little Snow Cream Lipstick. Very pretty. Kind of not really my everyday colour. It's kind of that... I don't know it's like a dusky rosy pink nude color and um, very pretty I just purely will not get rid of that so I'm just gonna pop that at the back there speaking of which I do have my Anna one as well very pretty this one is going north lipstick um very nice this one's a bit more me it's a bit more brownie kind of nude color so that one I will keep as well 
Going on to my lip liners from Charlotte Tilbury very quickly. I do have a couple of duplicates. So um, this one is my, is this Pillow Talk? Yeah. So this one is Pillow Talk. This is very, very pretty. This color, they all need sharpening. I'm not gonna lie. Pillow Talk is an absolute iconic lip liner. Again, this is Pillow Talk as well, this one. So again, they all need sharpening, <laughs> um, but they are beautiful. They go with every kind of nudes, very, very nice. And then if that one's too pinky, then there is Iconic Nude as well, which I cannot recommend enough. I get, oh my God, do you see what I mean? Like very much loved. But it's a very, very pretty color as you can see. I would swatch, but I will end up cutting myself. Um, and then if I need a bright red, I do have Kiss and Tell lip liner as well. Their lip liners are brilliant. I really like putting them on before her actual lipsticks because they just last so much longer. And then I have this one, which is Savage Rose, which is a gorgeous berry rose color. Very, very nice. Highly recommend that, especially for like your berry kind of colors. So let's go on to the lipsticks. So I have four MAC ones, which I'm just gonna whiz through quickly. So this one is in the shade Well. I do have a matching lip liner somewhere, so no idea where that's gone. Very nice, very used in the autumn and winter months. Very, very pretty. I really like it. I won't get rid of it. <laughs> Same as this one. This is my Russian Reds. I, do you know what? To be honest, I've probably had this for... I want to say maybe about five years. <laughs> um, no, they're probably not good, but you know, I have got so much of this product. I just don't wear it. And if I'm doing a red kind of look, I do like to go for a bright red. I do have um, Ruby Woo, but I've got that in my makeup artist collection instead of my makeup kit. Then the Viva Glam 3. I like this one a lot because again, this is that nice berry red, which I will use. So very, very nice. I do like that one. And then the last MAC one is Viva Glam 2, which is the nude version. So again, really, really like this and we'll be keeping this one. Then my Charlotte Tilbury lipsticks, let's go. So this one is one of my absolute favorites. This is Dance Floor Princess. This is one of her nicer collections, I would say, like with the packaging. And it is also, um, where is it? There you go. So you can uh, just buy the refills and save the cases or you can switch cases. So my mum has the shade Glowing Gen, which is a gorgeous darker nude. This is more of a pinky color. So Pillow Talk lip liner, this lipstick, and then, um, oh gosh, I can't remember the color of the lip gloss, but it's absolutely beautiful on top. Very, very nice. I really like that as a set. That was my go-to lipstick wear when I was working for Charlotte Tilbury. But yeah, it's really nice. So you can change up the cases if you're not really a fan of this kind of style. But this is what the case comes with, with the um, infill. You can't just buy the cases on their own. So going through with my um, lipsticks, of course, some of them don't have lids on because again, I was very kindly gifted them whilst I was working there. So some are a bit more kind of, you know, half used, but all sanitized and everything, which I'm very grateful for. So this is the shade Night Crimson. This is a very, very dark kind of <laughs> nude, nudie color. So again, if like any of those aren't the right kind of color, I can go for this one, which I love. Then we have Penelope Pink, which again, I really like. It's definitely more of that kind of brownie light nudes. Very nice. Um, and it is one of my favorites, but Dance Floor Princess just, is the most iconic one. Again, I have another Penelope Pink because it was really a favorite at the time, so I have spares. I then have Supermodel. This is kind of a nice matte. That one was definitely more of a sheen and same as like Night Crimson, I would say. Um, definitely more of a matte kind of sheen if that makes sense for Night Crimson. This one's definitely a matte, this is Supermodel, this is very pretty, but if I'm honest, I'm not really a huge fan of the color, so that one is gonna be rehomed as well. And then we have Pillow Talk, of course, the iconic, as you can see, like the tiniest, tiniest bit left. This is always very nice. It doesn't really suit me, the color, I'm gonna be honest with you, so I will rehome it, even though there's like the tiniest bit left, but I'll see if my mom wants it. <laughs> then moving on, we have Red Carpet Red. So again, if you need like a bright red, a really nice bright kind of burgundy red, I would say. Very, very pretty. I do like this one a lot, I must admit. So this is kind of my darker shades as such. Um, let's go from the back. So we have another Night Crimson, but this is, you know, just in case I need to spare or anything. So very, very pretty. I did get a brand new one with a kit that um, I was able to get whilst working there. So that's why I do have two. 
And then let's go on to Bond Girl. This is very pretty, this one. Um, very, very nice. A nice kind of burgundy colour. Some of them are quite similar colours, so if something doesn't really suit you, if it's too reddy or too orange, then at least you can see. Then we have uh, Karina's Love, which again is another bright red. So this was quite similar to Mac Ruby Woo. So that's why I kind of replaced the Mac one in my collection with this one. And then last but not least, we have Walker Shane, which is a very, very nice kind of darker red as well. But I just, I'll be honest, I just don't wear them as much as I would like to, but it kind of, it just is what it is at the end of the day. And then at the back, I have my primers and I am going to be getting rid of quite a few primers. I'm not going to lie because I just don't wear them. I just don't, I don't see the benefit in them anymore. And it's such a shame. I do have my NYX Prefits. This is a base, um, where is the English? Waterproof eyeshadow primer. This is nice. This is good. I do like it. I just don't, I forget to use it. Same as my Urban Decay eyeshadow primer. So really I need to keep these out. I need to kind of keep using these more, so I'm just going to put them there for a second. I have a mini of the Smashbox Photo Finish Minimize Pores Primer. I'm just going to see if this has been opened. It has, but I have not used it. So again, that's going to go into my re-gift. I then have two of these Manor Runway Ready Primers. Um, they were really good, really like them, but um, I just don't wear primers anymore, if I'm honest, so I am gonna be rehoming these. I'll pretty much be rehoming quite a few of these, I'm not gonna lie. The L'Oreal um, Infallible Mattifying Base, um, yeah, not for me, didn't like it, unfortunately. Bare Minerals Prime Time Foundation Primer, I don't even think this has been opened, no, so rehoming um i just don't use primers you know the smashbox photo finish primerizer i must admit i do like so i am going to keep this one because it is kind of a three-in-one product it's a primer moisturizer in one so i will be keeping this one i have a eyeshadow pencil eyeliner pencil so i really need to um do those i have the ordinary high adherence silicone primer I didn't really get the hype. So again, rehoming. I then have these two. So I have the NYX Total Control um, Drop Primer. That one, I'm just, just gonna go in the bin because I've had it for a while. I didn't really like it. I then have the Pro Base MUA um, kind of primer oil. Again, nice, but it's leaking so that can go. I then have these two as well. So I've got the XX Rev Re Revolution Youth Juice. I just, I don't, it's a shame, I just, primers just don't work for me. I think I've only used this once in a testing video and that's kind of it, I've never used it again, so shame. Then I have this from Avon. <laughs> this is, look, brand new, never been used. So an Avon um, compact smoothing primer, never used it. And then I have this, the Ilan Musca, what is it called? The Hydroville Rehydrating Gel. I think I've used this once. I didn't kind of get the hype, but I am gonna give it another go because everyone raves about it. So I do kind of, I'm gonna keep that one out actually in my kit. And then I just have another one of these. So yeah, this one has kind of gone down rather well. So let's pop all of these down here. I do need to give everything a good old clean. So once I've gone through it all, I will give it a clean definitely. Now, this one is an absolute mess, as you can see. <laughs> Mainly it was for my foundations and powders, but she needs a little bit of help. So there is a lot going on, I'm not gonna lie. So I have a, let's go with the primers. So I have this primer, the Urban Decay All Nighter Face Primer. Um, again, nice. I can probably just use it up. I then have the NYX Honey Do Me Up Primer. Everyone raves about this. I love this, I must admit, but it made me very oily. I think that's the whole idea because it's a dewy primer. So I am going to keep it just to keep using it up because I do really like it. But I must admit, I t yeah, I need, to, I need to work it out properly. So let's go back up to, no, <laughs> to this one. So the primer's in there. Oh God, there's just so much going on. I don't even know where to start. Right, we'll do all the foundations after, of course. So this is the Pink Honey um, Super Hold ugh, God, Brow Soap. I liked it, but it kept giving me like the white line and that just isn't for me. Like it just made my brows white. I do get my brows laminated now. So brow products aren't really gonna be a thing in this um, kind of collection. So that can go just straight in the bin. I have a mascara here, Climax Extreme. I think this has been opened anyway, so um, this one needs to go in the bin because mascara is no longer than three months. I have a lip balm here from La Roche-Posay. This one is pretty much empty, so I need to remove that one. 
I then have a contour stick from She Glam from Shein again. This is the shade 102 Mocha. This is very nice. It looks like this. I do really like it. I think it is just a little bit too orangey for me, but I will just make it work because it wasn't very expensive and it comes with a brush the other end. So I will definitely keep that. And then I do have one from Primark as well. This is the foundation and contour stick. I got the shade Chai, which I think is a very good shade. So again, never use this. We'll be using this in the future. I then have the P. Louise base, um, eyeshadow base. So I do need to keep that one as well, of course. So let me put that on there. That one's, yeah, I'll put that one there as well. Okay, then I have another liquid lip. This is the um, Body Shop Tahiti Hibiscus Matte Liquid Lip. Very nice, but again, not the nicest red shade on me. And then this is also a um, eyeliner form as well for the magnetic lashes. I have the benefit what's up highlighter this is nice but i've had it for years and this needs to go in the bin i have a little mini lip balm from nars this is the laguna shade very nice um i forgot i had it look there's still so much left of that apologies if you can hear my stomach rumbling by the way <laughs> i just realized that i have a liquid eyeshadow this is from medusa's makeup i got sent this in a mystery box which i've reviewed a video on before never used it um looks really pretty but i will just um rehome that one i have something way way too similar so that'll be why and then i have quite a few kind of like eyeliner pencils and brow products i have the illamasqua liquid eyeliner always handy to have so i will be keeping this one but this doesn't go in here so this needs to go up there i then have one of the um color chameleons from charlotte tilbury this is in the shade something pearl dark pearl very pretty, I love these. These You can use them as eyeliners, eyeshadow, everything, just not eyeliner in your eye. So again, I need to remove that to another area. I have the Iconic Liquid Eye Pencil by Bella Brown, Charlotte Silbury, amazing. If you wanna do a smoky eye, cannot recommend this one enough. Same as this one, this is the shade Pillow Talk, a lovely eyeliner, very, very nice. I have the Brow Lift as well. I think this is pretty much brand new because I got one for Christmas and then obviously, I've started to go a bit more different with my brows so yeah a bit annoying with this one but I might just clean it up and see if someone wants it. I then have a NYX in Epic Link ink liner oh my god I can't talk so again keep that one. I have the Glossier brow flick again I might see if someone else wants that one. I don't need to do much for my brows anymore luckily so same as this one precisely my brow pencil with benefit in number three very nice but yeah i just i just don't need them anymore i then have a white eyeliner from nyx very good for makeup wise so i really like that one be keeping that i have another lip liner from charlotte tilbury iconic nude another one so again that needs to go in there i have the benefit 24 hour brow setter this is fantastic for your brows but i think this is kind of over yeah this is overused this needs to go in the bin <laughs> i then got the wonder brow ages ago i don't get the hype but i'm gonna rehome it just in case someone else wants to try it and then this is the lip gloss i knew i had it charlotte to rewise it was called seduction that was it i forgot very pretty with um pillow tour lip liner and then the dance floor princess lipstick moving on we have some eyeshadow primers and eyeliners as such just eye pencils chunky eye pencils from nyx which i recently got sent very grateful thank you very much nyx um these are amazing i haven't tried any of them yet but i have seen amazing things with them i've always been meaning to grab them but i kind of never knew what ones to pick up so these are some of them my mum has got the rest <laughs> that i got sent so yeah we were fighting over them i then have a fenty beauty product this is nice this is the shade tripping this is one of the match sticks this is kind of like a blush and highlighter very pretty i do like this but again not much wear out of it so i do need to keep it out because i do like my creams now moving on to this nyx color correcting concealer palette this was pretty much for my makeup um kit but I have been using the green as well for my spots, of course. So obviously I do scrape it out. You know, I'm not just going in with a brush. <laughs> and then going on to my foundations, I do need to get rid of quite a few of these. There's another one of the sponges, but that has been used. So that's going in the bin. I have quite a few powders and everything. And if I'm honest, I'm not a huge fan. Not a huge fan. So I do need to kind of work my way through them, get rid of some of them as well. And like all these foundations, like 
I feel like I felt so much pressured when I was younger to keep all of these makeup products, you know, in my kit because that's what everyone was doing. And now it's like, they're just sat here probably going all disgusting. Like, look at this NYX one, you know, like that. I'm just, I'm not using that at all. Like, because it's just, it's separated, it's gross. Yeah, that's not for me. <laughs> so I have this one from Primark, which the matte foundation. This is the dupe for the Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation. I know this one is kind of recently new, so I am keeping this one purely because it's my Estee Lauder one and it's like pretty much new. Um, this one I've had for a while, so this one needs to go. This one is brand new in the box, this PS Pro Primark Double Zero Porcelain Foundation. Um, apparently it's meant to be very good, but I've never kind of got round to it. Um, yeah, it's just your standard one. It was £5 at the time. It's probably gone up more. But because it's brand new in the box and not been opened, I will just re-gift it. I got the Revolution XX foundation. I got it in the shade FX4. This just isn't my colour whatsoever. I'm not really a huge fan of it. Um, so I will see if anyone does want it. Same as this Urban Decay Stay Naked Weightless Liquid Foundation, 10NN. It's just not for me. I don't really like it. It's such a shame. I know my foundations are my favourites and it is either Estee Lauder Double Wear, Max Studio Fix Fluid or the NARS Sheer Glow Foundation, which I actually have in my makeup bag just there. This one, again, very nice. I do like the Maybelline Fit Me, but it's been here for a while. Same as these Tarte ones, Rainforest of the Sea, Shape Tape, that's pretty much dead. Revolution Conceal and Define, this is a throwback. I love this one as well, but again, they're, they're all... They're all done, you know, they're, they're empty. I don't know why I have them still. And then this one is a darker shade purely for my makeup artist kit, so I do need to put that back. So I'll pop that up top. Then I have some concealers here in this little pot. So I've got a brand new of the Revolution Conceal and Define Inf Infinite. <laughs> I can never say that. Um, C2.5, not used it. So definitely will need to use this at some point. I have a mini of the NARS um, the Creamy Concealer in the shade Vanilla. I actually need to get this out because my current one is almost out. And then I have two of the Benefit Boing um, Cakeless Concealers. I love these these so much. So I've got number two and, oh, number two, but that one looks a bit, that one's definitely had its day. This one probably has as well, but I love this concealer. I will happily pay full price for this. Then I got this in a glossy box the other day. Um, this is apparently like a lip scrub or something. So exfoliate and accessory for soft and kissable lips i have no idea what it is but it's in the box still so i will definitely kind of re-gift it <laughs> going on to powders now so i have the maybelline super stay powder in the shade 10 ivory this was just purely for how do i open it purely for oh god that's disgusting just to kind of wear as like a foundation but it's not for me but uh, yeah these just need to go i have the charlotte tilbury one this is the airbrush flawless finish in shade one there is there's only a, a little bit left. I have hit pan, but it doesn't do anything for me. Absolutely nothing. I'm going to see if my mum likes it. If not, I'm passing it on to someone else. It's just, it doesn't sit nice on my skin. It makes me more oily, if anything. Yeah. XX Revolution Translucent Powder. I did a whole video of their new collection ages ago, so that's why there's quite a few of the XX bits. I have a Rimmel Stay Matte Powder. This needs to go because I've had it for ages. I really do like this one, I must admit, but I'm more of a translucent powder gel, like my Laura Mercier one. This is a really nice little um, travel size. I hope there's some in there. I'm not sure if there is, but yeah, we will see. I don't, do you know what, actually, I don't think there is. Oh no, there is. Okay. All right. Tell a lie. That's probably done there. <laughs> and then I have my NARS version of the um, Soft Velvet Loose Powder in the shade Snow. I don't mind it, but I don't love it. So I'm going to re-gift it. Yeah. Wow. So this pretty much only has four items in, which is mad. Absolutely mad. So this can be kind of stocked up as two different things. Moving on to the next box. Now these are eyeshadows. Let's just move you back. Eyeshadows and again some more products here. So let's just go with, let's start with this one if I'm honest. This is my MAC Studio Fix um, powder. It's pretty much almost out so I am just going to get rid of that. NYX Translucent Finishing Powder. Again pretty much out so getting rid of that. Do like that one though. Very nice. And then I have the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. Again I didn't see the hype in this. 
I really didn't. I tried it a few times, not really a fan. I have a family friend that would love this, so she can have that. <laughs> then I have my Urban Decay Beached Bronzer in the shade Sun Kissed. I do love this, I'm not gonna lie. I love this as an eyeshadow as well, actually. So I will be keeping this one. So let's pop that up there. I then have a full size of the Tarte blusher. Very, very nice, but again, I just don't use it in the shade Party. This is the Amazonian Clay 12 Hour Blush. Very nice, I just don't use powder blushes anymore. Realistically, I don't use the bronzers anymore either, but I feel like I can't let go of my Urban Decay and my NARS ones. I feel like I'm just very connected with them. I then have another of the Smashbox, as you can see. I feel like I only have like a quarter left, so that's why I've got a full size one up here. Very nice, I just kind of wanna use this and just get it over and done with if i'm honest so i need to keep that out really and then i have the mac mineralize time check lotion this is actually meant to be a really really good primer as well from well up one of my makeup artist teachers that said so i'm kind of a bit iffy whether to you know keep it in my kit or not because i used it on myself it was good, I like it, so yeah, I'll just put it back in the kit. And then this is all eyeshadows. If you're interested in these kind of card infills, by the way, um, the kind of, this one, I think I got from like Poundland or Primark or something, but these ones come in a little four pack set, I think, or five pack set from Ikea. So just so that, you know, I picked them up when I picked these up. So my eyeshadows. Now I have quite a few palettes. I did get rid of quite a few as well in my um, makeup kit as well, but my Huda Beauty New Nude, um, it's very much loved. I still use it all the time. So I do really like this one. This next one I got sent ages ago. The colors are very nice, but it's just, it's just not really something I use unless it's like something really colourful that I need to do. So I will just re-gift that one. Again, same as this one, the exactly the same ultimate palettes, very nice, but I just don't use them. So then I have this little NYX palette, which with the colours I made myself, very, very pretty, um, very nice. They're always handy to have, but I might just re-gift it because it just kind of, it is what it is. I do love NYX though. I must admit, I love their eyeshadows and all their makeup, to be honest. Very, very, and that's not because I have been sent stuff, but yeah. <laughs> Colourpop times Frozen 2 palette. We'll be keeping this. The Anna one is actually in my makeup bag because I have been using those colours more, but when it comes to like winter <laughs> i will be using this palette more then i have a hufflepuff one which i think came from um boots this is very cute i feel like i just have to keep it because it is hufflepuff and very very pretty so i do like that one a lot then i have a makeup revolution one which i got as a birthday present um but the colors just don't scream out to me so i will have to reuse this one unfortunately very pretty though it is the i heart revolution cotton candy palette then i have the Too faced sweet peach palette again very pretty but i just don't go for them anymore so such a shame but they have really nice nudes and everything but yeah i just don't jump for it anymore i then have my anastasia beverly hills modern renaissance i think that's how you say of palette i just had to get this at the time because it was so so pretty but again i just really don't use the colors it's such a shame really but yeah it's gonna go. I then have my Naked palette. So I have my Naked um, Urban Decay Smoky palette. I do like this one a lot, I must admit. This is very, very pretty. Um, but again, I, don't, I really don't use it, you know? I really don't use it, so I'm gonna go. And then I have my Naked Urban Decay Heat palette. I did actually get sent this from a PR, so very, very grateful. So I think I will always keep this one. Very, very pretty colors. So I'm definitely gonna be keeping this one. And then I have this really colorful one from MUA Makeup Academy. Very cute. I've had this for the longest time, really. So this one just needs to go in the bin. And then I have the Soph Times Revolution palette. Um, very, very loved. Um, I just, yeah, it needs to go. As you can see, it's, it's a mess, but yeah and then i have i do have more charlotte tilbury um palettes but they are all in my makeup kit because yeah very nice but this is the vintage vamp palette very very nice very pretty colors as you can see so i did use this for a video hardly touched but beautiful i do like it a lot and i will be keeping that one and then we go on to kind of all the liquids and pencils and stuff like that this is from the brand kiko um, I'll be honest, I've, I don't think I've actually ever used this. So yeah, I've not used it, so I'm just gonna re-gift it. Then I have another one of the Charlotte Tilbury Color Chameleons. This is bronzed garnet, very similar as such in a way, but very pretty. So I can move 
all of my pencils done in a second. I have a sleek loose pigment. Um, what is the shade? Dazed. I think I got this in a um, advent calendar last year. Very nice. I do have quite a few of the MAC loose pigments, but again, they're in my makeup kit. I have a Charlotte Tilbury Eyes to Mesmerize in the shade Kilia Petra. This is um, a beautiful blue teal shade. Um, I don't really know why I have it in my collection because my eyes are blue, so it kind of just defeats the point. But if I'm honest, um, this is now discontinued, so you can't really get it again. So I feel like I have to kind of keep it. I don't know. <laughs> and then I have these um, Maybelline 24 hour color tattoo eye studio ones. I, anyone else remember when these were really popular? These are probably all dried out now because I've had them for probably about eight years. So they need to go in the bin. And then I have this, which is new. I made a recent tire order. This is the clay pot, Amazonian clay waterproof liner in the shade rose gold. I just feel like this is just stunning. Very, very pretty. I've not used it yet. So I'm definitely gonna keep this one and I can actually take it out of the box now. <laughs> and then I'm just gonna grab all of these. Again, I'm just gonna make this a lot more nicer when I can and everything. So yeah, and then I have that liquid one as well. Um, I do have bits in my personal makeup bag. So that's where that will be going. And then the next one is my blushes and bronzers and look, a full size Urban Decay All Night Setting Spray. So I told you there was gonna be another one. So that's gone back up top there. These I do really like. Now I must admit, this is probably gonna be a struggle. So I have my Charlotte Tilbury F Brush Bronzer in the shade two. I do like this. I feel like I can't get rid of it purely because it's Charlotte Tilbury and it's nice. So I am gonna keep this up here for now. Too Faced Sweet sweet peach glow palette um i've had it for the longest time it is probably done its day so that needs to go i then have the spectrum zodiac summary highlighter very pretty it doesn't look it from there but it is so so nice and i love the packaging so keeping that one i then have the charlotte tilbury um what, oh my god what is it called holly film star bronze and glow the original um very nice as well it's always nice to have in a collection i must admit handy for like traveling and stuff then i have the tart park avenue princess contour palette i love this so much I have been using this for like two years straight since I got it in an advent calendar. I think it was a 2019 advent calendar of Glossy Box and yeah, I loved it that much. So yeah, I'm just obsessed with it, but I forgot I had it and it's just so big to put in a makeup bag. So I will definitely use this more. Then I have the Smashbox kind of contour and highlight sticks. I, I don't know why I still have them. I don't use them. I prefer kind of my other bits and pieces. So again, they're all gonna be re-gifted. Then I have a Charlotte Tilbury blusher in the shade Love is the Drug. Very nice, very bright. That's gonna go in my makeup artist kit because it's just so, so bright, if I'm honest. I have a mini of the NARS Orgasm blusher. Again, I feel like everyone has this. Very nice. I don't have much left to use, so I will just have to keep using that up. I then have a Makeup Revolution blusher in the shade Treat. Very nice. Again, had this for so long, so I will just re-gift that one if anyone does want that. I have a mini of the Benefit Gold Rush blusher. Again, hip pan, so that can just go. As well as the Dandelion Benefit um, highlighter. There is like nothing in there. Very, very nice. I do like the Benefit box blushes and bronzer, obviously Hula and everything, which I think is in my kit. Um, and highlighter, very nice. Then I have the XX Revolution highlighter in the shade Focus. Nice, but too dark for me. Free gifting. So I have a New Look Glow Baked Highlighter. I think this was a dupe for one of the MAC Mineralize highlighters. Very nice. Um, forgot I had it, but I am just gonna re-gift it because I don't really use it. I then have the Too Faced uh, Milk Chocolate Soleil bronzer. Very nice. Again, don't use it. Re-gifting. I have the Maybelline Master Sculpt kind of little set. Nice, but had its day. Um, I know it doesn't look it, but I've, I know I've had this for years. Same as the Sleep face contour kit i have had this for the longest time um as you can see like this is probably one of my first ever makeup products i need to let it go we're doing an elsa <laughs> then i have this kevin a coin bronzer i will not get rid of this because of how expensive this is very nice in the shade desert nights i need to use that again but i just feel like i prefer my creams so i don't know it's hard <laughs> so these are gonna be kind of like my bronzers and everything that i will be keeping on um, powder ones wise you know you never know I might just end up going off creams and stuff I can't see it happening mind you but 
you never know you never know okay and then let's go with the blushes we've got a highlighter there nice blush some contour there as well and then a nice little powder blush so this is this section very nice and then we have one more drawer because the rest of these are all like special effects bits and pieces really so this drawer is eyeliners eyebrow products eyeshadow bags i don't know what else and this is one of my acrylic kind of drawers for them this was from my makeup kit this is all like loose glitters again all my pigments from matt mac even and everything and i think i've got anastasia beverly hills one there as well so this actually does need to go back in my makeup artist kit but i used this previously for other makeup i then have a makeup bag here i think this is just this is from primark from ages ago i think this is a bag full of bags yeah a bag full of bags literally so i need to go through them <laughs> and then this oh i don't even know where to begin with this let's close the drawer for now and then i'm going to grab my other eyeliners and mascara as well from up here so these ones i'm keeping let's just open the drawer back up actually because it might be a bit easier so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to decanter everything okay so this kind of thing is very good for all like eyeliners and stuff to get me wrong especially in here but i feel like with all of this i really don't need a lot and i can actually reuse some of these drawers for other stuff so say more of like my beauty things i have a brand new nyx fill and fluff product brow pencil so that can just go straight in the regifted same as this ico uh, mascara i know i have that other one from kat von d but i just feel like with this one yeah i, d I don't know i don't need it <laughs> i have my tassie lashes which um i think i got sent these actually to try which is amazing because how big they are now is great so if you ever want to send me some more girls let me know um i do love these these have had their day so they need to go straight in the bin this is a little brow sample from tarte and there is different colors as well but i just this just needs to go realistically same as this brow soap this again was very good um but it's had its day and I don't need it anymore. And I have the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade. Um, this is so old and dry and just needs to go. Same as these NYX Tame and Frame ones. Brilliant dupes for it, by the way. Highly recommend. I don't need them anymore in my brows. I have Lola's Lashes. I have the shade Ruby and the Flick and Stick Clear Adhesive Eyeliner. And then um, the cleansing oil as well. I believe I paid for these ones and tried them out thinking they were magnetic, but they weren't. So that's really funny. Check that out on my channel if you're interested. <laughs> um, Cabral um, pomade, again, all dried out. Shame, need to go. I then have a brand new Primark eye mascara. So again, this is meant to be very good. So I'll just re-gift that because it's brand new in the packaging. I then have the Revolution and Maybelline Tattoo Brow Easy Peel Off Tints. Um, these need to go they're probably way out of date um but very very good regardless i then have the smashbox photo finish lash lash primer i actually used this for brows though before like just to stick up your brows but then after a while the white did come through so again this just needs to go i have a charlotte tilbury legendary brows products this is in the shade supermodel this is pretty much just like a brow gel but really nice a really small little applicator to get all of those little brows very good but yeah no needs to go same as these little gimme brows from benefit love them i've got them in shade three and five very good i do like gimme brow a lot before i have my brows laminated um so pretty much the same thing but these are just incredible maybelline lasting um drama matte waterproof liquid eyeliner this is my holy grail i do like this one i always get the waterproof which i know is quite bad for your eyes realistically to wear waterproof all the time but this did not budge when i took it to florida in 2018 in like 35 degrees heat so amazing i then have the charlotte tilbury uh the feline flick that's what it's called liquid eyeliner very good but i've had this for two years this needs to go in the bin then i have a couple more of her um eyeliner pencils so i have the classic this is the eye powder one this needs a good old sharpen i have bedroom black and bedroom black as well so um the black ones as well fantastic very good do really like them i have the soap and glory smolder coal again very nice i do like a eyeliner pencil same as nars i've got a nars one as well larger than life um long wear oh god what happened with that one 
Um, I think that needs to go in the bin. <laughs> That's a shame. Uh, Too Faced one, Perfect Eyes Waterproof Eyeliner, very nice. Again, um, they just need a good old sharpen and a sanitizer. So I'll keep those ones. This one is from Rimmel. I've actually had that for years. So that's going straight in the bin. This one from the Body Shop Eye Definer. Again, super handy to have. I don't really use them as much anymore, but yeah i mean like this one this is a brow definer from mua makeup academy brand new in the packaging so i'm just gonna straight away re -gift that one so i'm gonna grab this again which is super handy this i can probably put in like one of these and it'll be fine so i'm just gonna put all the eyeliners back in here these are always super handy to have and i've got my liquid ones as well let's pop all these up together then i have my liquid ones I have my spare mascara from Kat Von D, very nice. Um, and that is pretty much it going in this box as well. So again, I can really kind of reuse in here. So I can absolutely, you know, put some of like these palettes in there. Probably not the liquid blushes and stuff because they probably won't fit. I can probably use like these in there as well. So I think that's what I might actually do like with these kind of pencils that I have. I think I'm just gonna put them straight in there because Oh, look at that they just fit perfect in there um i will go through this a lot more nicer and stuff anyway like i said but realistically this is my new makeup collection so i'm definitely going to be reusing you know the spaces a lot more so this could actually go like in the bottom of this as such and just pile it on um my eyeshadows as well look i mean that is i mean just my eyeshadows are just <laughs> as you can see definitely yeah and then this is just laughable you know so i've got more drawer space especially for bits and pieces like this this was my makeup bag that i was saying this is my rubbish <laughs> this is my makeup bag that i was saying about um what is actually in my makeup bag but that is pretty much it that is my makeup collection you know just like completely done and everything so very happy there is a lot going on in this box back here let me just grab it of course it's a disney box <laughs> But this is like everything that I have to rehome, to re-sanitize. Um, everyone is gonna love me. <laughs> and there is brand new products as well, so I could slip a couple of those in their boxes and everything, you know, like a brow pencil, the mascara in like a little Christmas bag or something, because Christmas is gonna be around the corner very soon, guys. <laughs> Apologize if it's really long. I'll try whiz through it as quick as possible. But as you can see, yeah, I mean, I know some people's videos are like an hour plus long or they do it on a live stream because it's just so much easier. I have, yeah, I have quite a bit of makeup that's either old, not used anymore. But that's the end of today's video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. But when you do, make sure you hit that notification bell and then that way you'll be notified when I next upload, which is next Sunday at 5 p.m. And I'll see you guys in a brand new video soon. Bye.